Hello my darlings, I'm Twiste and today I'm going to be talking to you about a movie that was first established as a short film then turned into a major motion picture. I'm going to talk to you about the newest horror movie, Lights Out. Coincidence. Now the story is about a girl named Rebecca, she's played by Teresa Palmer and she has a younger brother named Martin played by Gabriel Bateman and something starts to happen, he starts to experience the same type of nightmares that she did when she was a child that have to do with a person named Diana and because of this he has not been able to sleep. So Rebecca finds out that this is in fact something real, this Diana person is real and it's attached itself to their mother who is going through some issues. Mm, anyways, in case you didn't know, this adaptation first started out as a two and a half minute short film. It's on YouTube right now. I'll actually put a link it down in the description below. And it was absolutely amazing. It terrified me. Just something so simplistic was able to frighten me to the core like that. When I heard that this was going to become a major motion picture, I was very nervous about this because I thought to myself, the original was very simplistic, it did not need any dialogue, no backstory, no nothing, so I was worried that it was going to be a very cheaply done film. But then, when I found out that David Sandberg, who directed the original short film, was directing this film, I had more fate in it, and as it turns out, this film was wonderful. I liked it. <laughs> stupid neighbors. Now I'm going to give as little detail as possible about what the film is going to be about because I want this to be absolutely spoiler free but what I can say is that the acting is absolutely superb. You can actually you can relate to all the characters especially the child. He was actually a very good child actor. I found his act his performance rather enjoyable than something very cheesy and stupid or overacting like how I've seen a lot of other child actors. The chemistry for all these characters was, was amazing. The Everything felt very realistic, even though you knew it was not real, but it gave a true feeling of bringing one of your fears, the dark, into a reality. You're not wanted here. Oh. Okay guys, I'm sorry I had to put that on pause for a little bit. I had to fix up the fuse box. I think there was there's something going on with it. So without further ado, let's get down to business of what it has and what it has not. And I will let you know if Lights Out is worth all the hype or if you just should just sleep with a nightlight from now on and not even dream about this movie. There are two horror movie cliches, one of them being which somebody sees a door open at the distance and they are inclined to start walking over there to see what did it. Heck, I think we've seen in all move horror movies nowadays that if you see a door opening by itself, you get the heck out of there and you get a pastor or somebody to baptize the crap out of that house. <laughs> Total amount of eerie moments, 10. These eerie intense moments, they made me hang on to the edge of my seat. They were that stress inducing, tension inducing, but I, Total amount of suspenseful moments. There are seven suspenseful moments. The audience members as well as myself, they were taking deep long breaths of shock and horror and some of them were actually screaming and it just made a real effect of this film. You know that if it's able to make me scared as well as the audience members and make us scream like children, then you know that it's a horror film that is definitely for the books. Okay, this this can't be a coincidence. It, it really can't. Okay, I'm getting petrified. Good thing there's only one category left, and that is jump scares. There's only two jump scares in this entire film, and, and you know what? Those jump scares are absolutely justifiable. They had to do with the entity that was causing them. It was all build up, and when these jump scares actually happened, it was more to bring in more tension. It wasn't going to relieve anything. It was absolutely terrifying, and 
it was just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna give this movie five out of five stars because this movie, yes, it started out as a short film and then it turned into a major motion picture. However, it had good story, good character buildup. The jump scares were good and decent. The amount of suspense was killing me. And there's also another thing about it, but I feel like if I tell you, it's going to spoil the entire thing. But all I have to say is, that this is similar to another horror film that I hold dearly to my heart that scared the living bejesus out of me about a couple of years ago. And it moved me and I know it will move you to, oh shit. So have any of you guys seen Lights Out? What did you think about it? And are you guys gonna be seeing it this weekend or anytime soon because I highly, highly recommend it. Please write your comments below and we will have a discussion about that. I warn you. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time, my loves. Bye. Oh no. God no. <laughs>